We'll begin with first look futurecast here showing the cloud cover lingering through tomorrow morning. We're expecting partly mostly cloudy skies tonight and then a cold front approaches bringing the risk for some isolated showers tomorrow afternoon and evening. Watch as the progression of this uh, of tomorrow goes through here on uh, first alert future cast. There's the showers developing to our west. Here's a snapshot of 5 p.m. tomorrow evening. So Jill and Mark will be tracking these in real time with Connecticut's only live radar as they work their way through and behind it wind gusts ramp up pretty quickly which means by Thursday morning it'll feel like it's in the single digits and teens statewide. Very little recovery in the afternoon feeling cold the entire day. This is your first alert to keep that winter coat nearby and then on Friday morning with the wind lingering temperatures in the 20s it'll again feel like the teens and single digits. So a bit of a winter chill as we get later into the week. We can already see signals of that to our west. Feels like 20 in Buffalo right now, 21 in Cleveland, 24 in Pittsburgh and even locally it still feels like it's in the 20s and 30s. Wind gusts statewide between about 20 and 30 miles an hour. So breezy out there again. Temperatures especially in the uh, higher elevations right now still only in the 30s elsewhere we're in the 40s and we expect to keep this wind around through the remainder of the afternoon and after sunset we'll start to see it relax a bit but it does not go completely calm. Here's a live look at our iCam at Old Saybrook. Plenty of sunshine right now. It's to our west where we see a bit more in the way of cloud cover. Our iCam looking live right now over uh, Torrington. A little bit of cloud cover in the northwestern part of the state. First alert of future cat or rather first alert live radar here still showing some signals across the northwestern hills. Earlier this morning we were tracking some light flurries and it is still possible that some of those lake enhanced showers to our west try to make it into northwestern Connecticut but overall the trend is just going to be uh, toward more clouds as we get later into the afternoon 40 to 45 inland mid and upper 40s along the shoreline and then tonight here's the mostly cloudy skies returning temperatures overnight dropping into the 30s statewide before we recover a little bit tomorrow morning uh, you'll notice right around freezing into the mid 30s inland along the shoreline likely in the upper 30s tonight Tomorrow, if we take it hour by hour along the shore, we'll watch temperatures climb rapidly to near 50 degrees, topping out in the lower 50s. And then here's the rain icon for six. Again, tomorrow's shower is really looking uh, quite uh, isolated in nature. We don't really expect to see too much of an impact uh, from that overall. And the reason that we keep saying that Thursday is going to be a bit of a shock to the system is because of how warm this month has been. Every single red square is a day where our high temperature was above average in the Hartford area. So when we talk about days like today where our forecast highs are 40 to 45 and uh, mid and upper 40s along the shoreline, add in the breeze, it feels even chillier. Tonight again, partly to mostly cloudy and on the first Lord seven day forecast here, windy on Thursday, gusts to 30 miles an hour, if not a little bit higher, again, making it feel much colder outside. By Friday, we get a brief break mid and upper 40s for highs, mostly sunny, high pressure built in, overnight lows likely below freezing pretty much the entire rest of the week. Saturday, we've been uh, watching the potential for some showers here and models are in a bit of a better agreement that this is really gonna be centered, especially on the first half of the day. That's when we have the greatest chance for some showers, the American and European models here in a better alignment, especially compared to the last several days where they've showed vastly different solutions. And then as we get into the later part of the day, Saturday, we start to see things wind down, leading to brighter and drier conditions for Sunday. Still breezy out there though, with temperatures likely in the lower half of the 40s. And while it will not feel quite as cold Sunday as it will on Thursday, there's still going to be a bit of a bite to the air on Sunday. And then on Monday, we're expecting temperatures to slowly start their rebound under partly sunny skies. Kara, we've been talking about how the equinox is tonight, 1106. Astronomical spring begins. This forecast on the other hand says, oh, don't put the winter clothes away just yet.